Hey everyone, it's Ross here on MGF Customs, back for the third time now to cover the new reveals for the LEGO Infinity Saga sets coming this fall. And just yesterday I posted a video talking about the first batch of photos that came from a LEGO store somewhere, and then right as I was uploading that video, Jedi News comes in with the Benatar reveal, of course. And as I was going to edit this video, I find out I've got to re-record this whole thing now because Amazon France has posted official images now crystal clear HD product photos of pretty much the entire line again still though except for the Sanctuary 2 so getting started with the Benatar reveal the Guardian ship as Lego is calling it it's 180 euros and of course everybody is getting these in Europe uh, on June 1st instead of all of us here who have to wait uh, in the West for August 1st anyway the Guardian ship as Lego refers to it assuming because most people People really just generally don't know that it's called the Benatar um, is actually unbelievable of course as this reveal has proven this is a huge improvement over the 2018 Benatar which is still a fantastic set that I have displayed that I still love its functionality the design and the interior and everything brought to the table but then Lego was like you know what let's do another one and I'll be honest for a line that is supposed to celebrate the Infinity Saga I kind of wish that Maybe they did an Ultimate Milano instead because we already just got a really good Benatar not too long ago, only three years ago, but I'm still so excited for this new, larger scale, high detail version with obviously just an overall much better design. This thing looks incredible and as you can see, the minifigure lineup is pretty wild actually and there are way more minifigures included here than I was expecting. Of course, we have Bro Thor and the Chitauri carried over from the new Avengers Endgame Final Battle, but also Mantis from the 2017 sets, except she has a new torso, and then the new Star-Lord, who looks absolutely amazing, still using the usual Star-Lord face, which I have to admit is kind of stupid and unnecessary, but it's kind of cool to have that hairpiece in that color now. His pistols are now also in light gray, which is new. I mean, I didn't really think that the gunmetal gray was ever a problem or really inaccurate, but those are light gray now. I guess and he also has a pair of dark red over molded boots so the double molded black boots are present on this minifigure and for an Infinity War slash Endgame Star-Lord this is pretty fantastic and also of course included in this set Lego has got the new Endgame Rocket Raccoon who looks amazing obviously he's got a ton of new printing like the goggles on the lighter brown molded head now and the new torso design it's all there and the new Endgame Rocket I think definitely delivers but really for me the biggest talking point out of the minifigures in this set but of course the most exciting minifigure out of this entire lineup the new and unexpectedly improved Groot now in dark tan like we had all originally hoped for I have been saying this ever since 2014 and then I was saying it again in 2018 and now Lego finally switched Groot from the deep brown color that they always kept in the regular reddish brown to a more proper looking dark tan with the green prints included in there now too. I mean this is literally like the official version of the Groot that I made in 2018 and I'm so happy to see finally a true proper Groot minifigure. They even improved the face design so it doesn't look as derpy. I am just so happy to see Lego finally doing this. It makes me very happy. So a lot of the new Benatar's exterior is pretty self-explanatory. It is sleeker. It is more detailed. It is obviously just overall a much better design as I've continued to say here. And so you have all the articulated flaps and pretty much everything that you can already make out for yourself, including a stand for the Benatar, which is very cool. I'm really glad that LEGO is including this here as that'll help quite a bit for display. This product photo here reveals, of course, the cockpit does flip up pretty much in the same way as the 2018 variant. So that is really cool to see. And it looks just overall, obviously, much bigger and more spacious because it is a bigger ship. So that is really cool to see. It's this image, though, that offers us a direct glimpse into the Benatar's interior from above here. And you can see it's pretty sweet and pretty spacious in there. I don't know that there's really a whole lot more 
room in this one than the 2018 variant. I don't really remember, but you definitely have all of the necessary leg room for all of the minifigures to be seated inside. And I just love, if we take a look at the back of the box now, all of the detail that you can see inside this interior. You have all these different ventilation pieces and chrome pieces that really make for a detailed interior, which I think is just really great. And there are plenty of clips, it seems, to go around for all of the minifigures' accessories. And if you couldn't already tell, the entire top of the Benatar does lift up, and that's how you access the interior. But there is clearly some more functionality going on. The Benatar can rotate on the stand, and that is really cool to see as well. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the new giant Benatar set down in the comments. I'm obviously so excited to have this, but I mean, I couldn't help but wonder why not do a much better Milano finally if we're doing a line of sets that is supposed to celebrate the entire Infinity Saga. But that's just kind of my opinion. I'm still so excited to get this set regardless, and I am so happy to see all of the improvements with the minifigures. I think LEGO is finally delivering the ultimate Guardian set here. For the rest of the video, though, we're going to go in a bit of a reverse order to change things up from the previous two videos. And so beginning with the new official photos of the Avengers Endgame final battle, obviously we just talked about quite a bit of this, but earlier on in the first two videos, because the original leaks were so blurry and pixelated, it looked like bald Thanos might have been Infinity War Thanos. So I said it in that video. And then also in the follow-up video, because I had just woken up and the bare sleeves kind of threw me off a little bit, I wound up saying Infinity War Thanos again. And everyone in the comments made sure that I was very aware and I already was aware that I misspoke for that one second in the video, but clearly this is obviously the Endgame Thanos as he sort of appeared later on in the third act of Endgame. And I mean, obviously what really kind of throws me off about the Thanos big thing, and I kind of talked about this in the previous video a little bit, so I'll try not to retread too much territory here, but the bare arms do confuse me because I wish that LEGO carried over the printed arms from that crappier Thanos they actually did for the release of Avengers Endgame. I don't know why they dropped the arm printing here. I know some people like to suggest this is a kind of supposed to look like after he's already been attacked by Wanda and his armor has been ripped away, but I feel like if that was the case and they were going for a more battle damaged Thanos, then they would have actually integrated that into the design because now you can see we have up close images provided to us by Jedi News and these offer a direct look at the actual big fig body for this Thanos and you can see his armor is perfectly clean and clear and there's no sign of battle damage here. So I do think that Lego should have kept the arm printing. It's an easy swap out though. If you have the end game 2019 compound, you can just put those arms right on and it's no big deal. Anyway, I really still do appreciate the design work going on here. The base big fig body is in dark gray. The upper portion of it is gold integrated in and there are studs on the back. I meant to mention this in the previous video and I was totally prepared to and then I just forgot, but there is clearly more plans beyond that stud on the head that clearly allows for the helmet because now Lego actually does have studs on the back here, which means I'm assuming they're going to reuse this mold for like Venoms in the future. They're going to do Carnage and have tentacles shooting out of the back. You know, you could use this for Bane. I imagine that Lego establishing a new standard here with this Thanos means they're going to make sure to make the most of it. But these official product photos now allow us to see so much more, including the entire set of all the accessories included with all the minifigures laid right out there, but also just a very clear and direct look at the compound now. And yeah, I mean, the compound is um, still slightly underwhelming, but I think if you combine this set with that original 2019 compound, it'll make things a lot better. Even if this building is a little bit redundant, I think it would just make for a much better looking layout because I mean, yeah, this compound structure is definitely a little bit, like I said, underwhelming. And I'm still excited for Luis's van though. We didn't really get to talk about this a whole lot previously. And I think Lego absolutely nailed it with this van. I mean, this looks one-to-one -one with the actual thing in the MCU. And also the quantum tunnel sticker from the back, from the trunk, you know, that flips up. I think that looks so great. You can even open the top and you can see there's a really spacious interior for this van, which I was not expecting, but that is a pleasant surprise. And if it wasn't already obvious, they did throw in the Ant-Man micro figure once again. So it's really great to see that make a return. And we have a much clearer look at the stickers offered in this set, thanks to Jedi News once again. That shows us we have the X-Con stickers included in here and additional Ant-Man designs. I mean, it all just looks so cool. But before we move away from this product photo, you can see we have a much better look at the shield, the nano shield from Avengers Infinity War included on the Endgame Mark 85 Iron Man here. And that just looks even better here in these photos than it did in the previous ones that were released. Of course, the back of the box shows us the back of the Avengers compound, the full interior here into this structure. And I mean, it's definitely okay. You can see we have a whole little 
separate prison cell just for Thanos and the Chitauri soldier with some lasers there and that kind of reminds me of the same little prison setup they had but for the nano gauntlet containment chamber thing in the 2019 version um, that does come down so Thanos and the Chitauri soldier can escape which is kind of cool I guess and that's fun um, the turret off to the side is just taken from I think like one of the Avengers game sets like the 2020 heli carrier if I'm not mistaken and it just has like a new sticker so Lego's literally just copying and pasting a set piece from another build so Lego's just literally rehashing builds now um, but anyway you can see we have this whole little workstation for Tony Stark and those stickers again thanks to the uh, picture from Jedi News we can tell that the designs on these screens here sort of depict the nano gauntlet that Tony is sporting which is just that big giant hand piece but in dark red we saw this previously used on like Shocker in the Spider-Man Homecoming for instance and uh, unfortunately this is all we're getting for the nano gauntlet I guess of course it makes sense this is Lego after all and it does fit with the Lego style it's just I wish that Lego would have at least maybe printed the knuckles to depict the different infinity stones but what can you do this is what Lego gave us and I guess that's gonna be it for the official nano gauntlet up top on the second floor of the compound you can see we've got both T'Challa and bro Thor just chilling out along with a couple of one by two trans blue hologram bricks that do depict uh, Captain Marvel 2023 and Rocket Raccoon of course we did just talk about the new rocket that is included in the Benatar and then also we do have Captain Marvel 2023 who is coming in the Sanctuary 2 and there are images of that minifigure already available and she looks really great no leg printing but it still works we have to talk about just how happy Wanda Maximoff is to be back she just got snapped away and kicked Thanos's ass Vision is dead but who cares they won Anyway, the Avengers Endgame final battle is going to be a 527 piece build overall and it's 89 euros and so that's about $110 here in the States to give you an idea for the price range. I don't really have as much to say about the new pictures of the Iron Man Iron Monger Mayhem build. Of course, this only further confirms just how massive this mech is. It is way too oversized. I appreciate the design. I appreciate the functionality and it's just way too big. I mean, even for play value, I don't understand why Iron Monger needed to be this massive. It's kind of ridiculous. And the Obadiah Stane minifigure is nice too. It's just um, the torso is rehashed apparently from somebody else. And then the Pepper minifigure is fine. It's the Mark III that we're all here for. Again, I said this in the previous video. The back of the box does depict that iconic scene though when Tony leads uh, Obadiah up into the sky in the Iron Monger armor and then the whole thing ices over. So that's really cool to see there. And with this image here of the whole thing busted down, you can see it gives us a better glimpse at the arc reactor which looks really cool and then also the space for Obadiah Stane up top but the Iron Monger Mayhem is a 479 piece set it is 40 euros and so that's about 50 US dollars I assume this thing will should be 40 dollars here in the states though because if it's 50 I may not buy it there also isn't a whole lot more to talk about with the Black Panther Dragon Flyer however I am still very excited for the functionality of the build Lego made sure based on these new product photos as we can see here that the cockpit does does actually bend forward so you have that exact same functionality from these ships as depicted in the actual movie and then otherwise there really isn't a whole lot to cover here other than it's just really great to see that both Shuri and Black Panther can in fact fit in the cockpit for a second there I was kind of concerned that the cockpit may be too tight and that only T'Challa would be able to fit inside but anyway this is gonna be a 202 piece build it's 19 euros so that's about $25 here in the US so you can assume it'll be 20 bucks here and so that is really really awesome and this also gives us the best look so far at the new Black Panther design with the new purple concussive blasts actually integrated in and man this just looks so fantastic it's just more so than Shuri this Black Panther needed some leg printing. The new photos of the juniors Captain America and Hydra face off are now giving us our best look at the new Age of Ultron Captain America yet along with that new Hydra soldier and I'll be honest I feel like I've been kind of sleeping on that Hydra soldier it does look really good and that new torso for Captain America featuring the depth within the star that we've been seeing previously on more recent Captain America minifigures is just great to see. I mean, compared to the original 2015 Age of Ultron Captain America, for example, this is just exactly what we had always been hoping for. And I know everyone is also saying that maybe the shield is new in these sets. I don't think so. It appears 
to be the exact same one to me. I was actually not expecting the hairpiece to be included in this set, so that is really great to see, but I mean, for a junior set, these are some fantastic minifigures. Finally, I'm not sure if Amazon France revealed the Infinity Gauntlet yet, but Jedi News definitely offered us a glimpse at the back of the box for this thing, and of course, you can see, as I mentioned in the previous video, the fingers are articulated, and so you've got it in the snapping pose on the back of the box, and I wanted to make sure I showed that, because it's definitely pretty cool, as I am excited for that Infinity Gauntlet bust anyway. That is going to do it for this next reveal of the Infinity Saga lineup. I am closing out the trilogy of videos right here now, but I'm still excited to talk about the Sanctuary 2 whenever we do get pictures of that $30 set that is, of course, set to include the new Captain Marvel 2023, a new Tony Stark, a Chitauri soldier, presumably, and hopefully maybe somebody else, because I think throughout all of these reveals, we have all been very surprised by all of the different minifigures included in these sets that we were previously unaware of but let me know what you guys think of the Infinity Saga lineup so far because this is the whole wave minus the Sanctuary 2 and so I mean again I would have preferred Lego to make an ultimate sort of Milano instead of a Benatar again already but I'm not complaining I am so excited for all the sets in this lineup and I doubt the uh, downsized Sanctuary 2 will, re will really disappoint but I think that also might have been a really cool idea to have a giant $160 Sanctuary 2 instead of a Benatar but let me know you guys think of all that down in the comments but i am so excited to review all of these sets probably not going to review the age of ultron jr set but i mean oh my god this is the best lineup of marvel sets that i think we have had since spider-man far from home i know there have been a lot of great spider-man sets obviously recently in the last couple of years and then the avengers game sets and everything for me this wave just clearly stands out for obvious reasons so on that note i'm going to get to editing this video and uploading it and i assume as i do so the pictures of the sanctuary two will come out so i'll catch you guys next time i'm not even going to mention the usual stuff take care keep creating all right everybody bye bye